Right, yeah, yeah, this is just, it's just a terminal. <laughs> Those were people reacting to something I built for a Raspberry Pi jam. It's an event, not some type of jam. Getting there wasn't exactly smooth. This is the story of how I got there in three days without much preparation. <laughs> This morning I was scrolling through X to get my daily dose of racism and I found out there's gonna be a Raspberry Pi birthday conference. The computer chip Raspberry Pi. They said that we're gonna be makers there showcasing some of their projects and I was like, maybe, maybe I can showcase some of my projects. So I got in contact with the organization. They were super cool. They were just like, okay, what do you need? What do I need? I, I don't have a, a Raspberry Pi project. So I'm just gonna repurpose one of my old projects, get it running on a Raspberry Pi and get it ready for a Saturday. That's in three days. I got nothing ready. I gotta get to work. All right, so the project I want to showcase is this guy right here. Essentially, it's a program that can convert any video into ASCII and play it on your terminal. And even cooler, it can get video directly from your webcam. Now, Raspberry Pi doesn't have a webcam, so I'm gonna have to integrate this with the Raspberry Pi camera. Little demo of how this works. So yeah, as you can see, like, that's me, that, that's me holding the camera. It's not super detailed. Can just make it a lot smaller. Ta-da! Huh? Huh? Not bad. Now, obviously this is running on my Mac, so let's hopefully get it running very quickly on a Raspberry Pi. So I went through my electronics stash. I found a Raspberry Pi 3, an old camera, a chewed up ribbon cable, a super dodgy power supply that I put together by soldering and hot gluing a mini USB plug. After I flashed an SD card with the latest Raspberry Pi OS, I started getting it ready for action. And by that I mean hacking into it by finding the default password on the internet and installing all the software. I thought I was gonna get lucky and just in one shot run it and have it working, but obviously things did not play out like that. Um, we have a problem. Um, no cameras be available but this guy definitely got some led on so not sure what's up okay maybe some of you can already tell what's going on i plugged the camera into the wrong slot and that's a bit embarrassing because back in the day i used to work a lot with these cameras anyway i get no cameras available still so what about another camera let me try this guy still no camera detected after that so guess what hello it have you tried turning it off and on again yo a reboot fixed it okay so now that the camera is detected it will probably just work nah okay Still does not work. Let's pick this problem apart and go at it little by little. First, let's just see if it can take a picture. A few moments later. Alrighty, um, I think I got it working. There we go, here it is. Yo, yo, I look ugly AF, bro. Okay, I need to lose some weight. Okay, so with that, we tested that the camera is actually working. And without getting into too much detail, my software uses OpenCV to get frames from the camera, and that works with pretty much all USB cameras, but not these Raspberry Pi ones. So I'm watching a tutorial how to access Raspberry Pi camera using OpenCV. Guess what he didn't use? OpenCV. My dude. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna need to learn how to do this. Otherwise, I need to change the code. Okay, so it's kind of late. I cooked up a little business card. This is what I, I got. Yeah, the reason I'm doing this today is so I can get it made and uh, I guess ready before the event. Early the next morning. All right, so I mostly figured out what I need to do. Can't use OpenCV directly. I need to use the Pi Camera library, which I've used before. It's just the new version. I should still know how to use it. Now it's just time to get it done. Much, much later. Yo, I was going down a rabbit hole and I was already dreading failure, but that's me. Yay. It is working, kinda. Let me know if you can spot the issue. Yeah, um, it's it's very slow. Yeah, average 3 FPS. I have something to make it faster, but I don't believe it's gonna be revolutionary. Moments later. Okay, that, that was mainly just a stupid bug. Frame rate is much better. Um, you can see me, you can see the camera. And now I'm pretty sure I can make this faster. Okay, let, let's see if this works first try. Okay, yo. That's me. Quite a lot faster. It's not that much faster. And the resolution is crap. 
and now now i don't know what to do to be honest Okay, as I was editing the footage, I think I have a problem with not celebrating successes. We went from 3 FPS to 16, that's five times faster. But I still wanted to increase the resolution to what I had running on my Mac and already knew that was gonna slow everything down drastically. All right, the resolution is great now. This is me, but frame rate is just not doing it. We are back down at 6 FPS, 6 freaking FPS. I'm hoping for one thing. I have a Raspberry Pi 5 and I hope I can just swap the SD cards and boom, magic. Shit just works. Okay, um, I did not expect this. So we got this HDMI output, which I literally don't have. USB-C in for power, which I also don't have. And uh, the camera ports, they are smaller. And I'm also not sure if I have an adapter for this. Okay, good thing I was hoarding some cameras for a long time and they just fit. And after some frustrations, oh fuck's sake, issues, issues. I'm in fucking issue land. And starting from scratch a couple times, it worked. So I probably look like shit because, well, we are approaching 2 a.m. But this is running on a Raspberry Pi 5 and it's me. Sorry, camera's a bit shaky, but it's me. Me doing a thumbs up. Yeah, this is like a super fisheye camera. I can't believe I got this working today. Like, this was such a struggle. Started from scratch like three times, but it works. Finally works. There we go. There we go, baby. 29 FPS. Let's go. <sighs> That means I can sleep now. So the next day I woke up feeling fabulous and I wrote a bit more code to embed a QR code directly into the stream. Yo, scan it, come on guys, scan it. It's ready. So it's one day before the event, my business cards were ready and I was just praying that they turned out nicely. Yo, I'm gonna go pick up my business cards. What's my business? YouTube. This is them, I haven't checked their work, so if it's good, it's good. If it's not, it's not. Yo, the guy did not want to be recorded, so I gotta respect that. Let's see if they're good. I'll check it in the car. Okay, let's check out these cards. Yo! I am actually happy with the result. Like, they look neat. QR code. And it works. Awesome. Lunch break is almost over, so I gotta go. So Dara recorded some unbearable audio, but basically because the Mechatronic Eye is on my business card, I should probably bring it to the event as well. And to allow the Mechatronic Eye to just do its thing, I wanted to build a stand for it. Okay, that was actually way more difficult than I expected. This is the shape I came up with. More hot glue then. Okay, nice to see this guy alive again. Now back to the main build. I didn't just want a naked Raspberry Pi hanging off of a monitor with a shaky camera. I needed a case for the Raspberry Pi which would allow me to position the camera more nicely. So I just found this guy, Visa mount. This should be pretty promising. Whoever designed this, you're a legend, bro. Visa mounts are the standard for usually mounting monitors. And I have this dual arm monitor mount set up. So I replaced the monitor with a Raspberry Pi and now I got this awesome setup. Where I can just move the camera around and have the other monitor show the result. Oh, oh, awesome. And right after that, after having set up everything and wanting to do one final test, this happened. Wait, what? What the hell? It's not booting. Oh, come on, don't tell me that. Not now, come on. So it's 10 p.m. the day before and the whole thing just stopped working on me. I will have to start from scratch, so that will be a couple hours, but I'm pretty sure I know everything I need to do. Yeah, and then I'll just start from scratch. Another one. Okay. <laughs> it works again, and that was only one hour. Finally. Finally, I just need to put everything in a bag ready for tomorrow. Happy I still got it done. This is how my workspace looks now. Yeah, it's missing a lot of things. I'm bringing my whole developer area with me. All right, 
It's the day. You even shaved. You boy look nice. And I gotta get moving. Really? The car has to be frozen today. I will arrive 9.17. Perfect timing. See you there. We made it. Cam Jam 2025. My table kind of empty still. So after the booth was built, I was really relieved that everything turned out nicely. So it was time to chill, check out other cool projects. And with that, I'll just leave it with a montage of the event and people enjoying my creation. That was awesome. Thank you guys for showing up. I'm dead. So yeah, see you in the next one.